Hello everybody and welcome back to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys my CVS haul for the week of 2-20-2-26. Not a ton going on at CVS this week. There's no reason to run a CVS. It's really, really slow, guys. But I did have some expiring ECB, so I did go out because of that reason, and I made it work. I did a total of three transactions, and between the three, I saved $145.40, and my haul was a freebie and a $15.87 moneymaker. I did have one issue in one transaction. I did want to pick up some other deals like the Irish Spring Bar Soap. My store was out. That is a great unadvertised deal. And I did have some Ibotta rebates to share with you guys. And that's it. So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to this channel, make sure your notification bells are on so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And please give the video a big thumbs up, share the video, and comment down below. But if you guys want to see how to get all of this for our money maker, which are easy money makers this week, then definitely keep watching. Okay, guys, I just got back in from CVS, and it's a slow week at CVS, so there's not a ton going on, nothing to run for at CVS, but my haul became a freebie and a slight a bit of a moneymaker. Um, I did not want to just get products just for the sake of doing a video. You guys know I do not do that. No offense to anyone that does that, but my cards don't have a lot of ECBs to begin with, only one card. So that's why I made it work with what I had, and I had some ECBs that were expiring. With that being said, first announcement, we do have um, printable coupons on coupons.com. I know I saw the Chic on there and some other printable coupons, so you guys might want to check those out if you do not get insert coupons. Second announcement, instant CRTs. I will pop them on the screen. I know we got a four off for Revlon because I use that in my haul today. I did a total of three transactions, even though my haul is really small. I did three. I had one hiccup that, again, this week was the cashier error. Like you guys know, at my store, they have a, um, excuse me, they have a new register with the uh, scanner. And that scanner just do what it want to do. But in the end, she did make, make it right for me. So that's all that matters. So let's get right on into it with my first transaction. I picked up my free February uh, beauty item on my last car. I got it. So I picked up one of the paparazzi uh, lip balms at $2.99. I used that free uh, CRT, making that completely free. Then I did the L'Oreal L5. They're two for eight. And by two, get a $2 ECB. So I picked up two of the, seem like this is a new one, uh, the L'Oreal L5, the Dream Length Curls. And that's good for um, natural hair. I assume so those are two for eight i used two four dollar off two l'oreal l5 coupons i used the insert coupon from the two six save it did glitch that coupon expired on 219 it glitched with the four off two digital coupon so i paid nothing out of pocket and i got back the two dollars extra care bucks making those free and a two dollar money maker easy money maker i did want to do the tresemme tresemme is a freebie with the four out two insert coupon and a three out two digital but they only had one trust um left because the coupon before me got to it before i did but it's an easy freebie now i know i have to um if there are good deals i have to get up y'all because now i'm noticing more and more couponers at this particular 24 hour store so that might be an issue for me but anywho <laughs> moving right along the next hair care deal I did because I couldn't do Tresemme was select Fruities or Whole Blends, the special like treatments. They are spend 15, get a $5 ECB. So I picked up uh, two of the Fruities treatments because those are the cheaper ones for me at my store. I think the Whole Blends are like $8 and something cents out of pocket, but these are $7.99. Both of those totaled me $15.98. I used two five off two Fruities coupons. I used a coupon from the um, 220 save today. That five off two digital did glitch with that as well and came off. I also had a four off 14 Garnier Fruities hair care CRT, so I used those. I paid 198 and I got back the five, making both of those free and a 302 moneymaker, which was really, really awesome. 
So in this small transaction, I paid $198, but I got back seven. I got back two for the L'Oreal L Vibe, and I got back five for the Fruities, the Garnier Fruities. So I got back a total of seven. So it makes this small transaction a freebie and a 502 moneymaker, which is really, really amazing with this small little haul. And not a lot going on. You guys can get some really easy freebies and moneymakers. Second transaction, I picked up two of the Cetaphil Gentle Cleansing Cloths. Can't even get it out. I usually pick up some stuff for husband, but he's kind of like stocked up. So I picked up these wipes for me. And they are the 25 count. And at my store, they're priced at $849. Two total me $16.98. I used that five of two Cetaphil facial care coupon from our one nine smart source. I had two five of two Cetaphil facial care CRTs. I had one from last week and I got another one this week. So guys, I paid $1.98, but I got back a dollar fifty times two and I bought it totaling three dollars. So it makes those an easy freebie and a dollar and two cents moneymaker without an ECB deal even attached to that, which is amazing. Second I did on this transaction was Revlon. So Revlon, it excludes any color stay. So don't pick up any color stay products. I picked up two of the Candid Revlon Candid Foundations at my store price at $12.79. Two totaled me $25.58. I used two of those $4 off Revlon uh, face product coupons from our 26 Save. Those coupons expired on $2.19 and scanned with no issues. I used their four off Revlon CRT that we're all are getting today at the Red Box. I also used a five off 20 Revlon Cosmetic CRT. So I paid a 58. I got back the eight for doing a deal two times because the limit is six. So it makes the final cost 58 cents for both or just 29 cents each, which is amazing. This is why I have my hiccup on Maybelline. So select Maybelline Cosmetic is by two get five. I think a week or so ago, probably last week, I keep getting the uh, Revlon, Insta, um, Revlon Instant Rewind Concealers. I'm really loving those, and I've been having issues every time I pick these products up. I think it's like a jinx or something, <laughs> but I picked up two of those. Totaling ten, they, they're priced at $10.29, totaling $20.58. I did have two $3 off for the Revlon not Revlon, Maybelline Instant um, Rewind Concealer Products or Face Products from the 26 Safe expired on 219 and scanned with no issues. And I had that three off Maybelline CRT that we all got last week. And I had a five off 20 Maybelline CRT. So I was supposed to pay 658 and got back to five, making the final cost 158 for both or 79 cents each. The problem with this is, like I said at this store, they got a new cash register and the scanner is just scan and do what they want to do. So the cashier thought like last week or the week or so before, since I've been grabbing these products, she thought she scanned two products. And when she told me my subtotal was zero before zero um before tax, I'm like, that seems to be not right. I was supposed to pay 14 cents plus tax, which is not a big deal, even though she said it was zero, but I knew something was wrong. So I just paid it. Because my total was supposed to be $17.14 for the Cedarfield, Revlon, and Maybelline. So I just paid the zero plus tax out of pocket. But once I got my receipt, I did not get the five off for um, buying two of the Maybelline products. And she was telling me that the $3 off coupon wasn't scanning. And the five off 20 Maybelline uh, CRT did not come off. So what ended up happening was... She issued me for my troubles because I told her every time I do this Maybelline deal, I'm not sure what it is. It's probably the product or whatever that the CRTs and coupons don't scan because the gun triggers only scanning one product when it's two. I'm not sure what that is, but she issued me a $13 extra care buck for my troubles, which I greatly appreciate that because like I said, the last three weeks, I've been having issues with the with, with them scanning the Maybelline products. I don't know what it is, but... I was supposed to pay $17.14. I did roll $17 extra care bucks and was supposed to pay the $14 plus tax. I was supposed to get back eight for the Revlon and then five for the Maybelline, which totaled me $13. But the cashier did issue me, and she was a manager, she issued me a $13 extra care buck. So instead of me paying the $17.14, um, my extra care buck one got lowered down because I rolled $17 and my $5 extra care buck got lowered down to $215. So she gave me $13 extra care bucks. The issue with the lowering of the ECB that I roll and plus not receiving the $5 for the Maybelline product. 
I also got back $3 from Ibotta. So it makes this small transaction a freebie and a $9.15 moneymaker, which is really amazing. She really helped me out of giving me that, that ECB for the 5 off 20 I assume, not coming off, and the $3 coupon. Not receiving my $5 for the um Maybelline and my $3 not coming off. But either way, I still pay zero plus tax out of pocket. I pay, well, so first of all, let me go back because I don't want to confuse you guys. I was supposed to pay $17.14 out of pocket, but I paid $14.85 out of pocket. I got back that $13 extra care bucks for the errors within the CRTs and coupons. I got back eight for the Revlon deal. I got back three from Ibotta. So that's how this haul becomes a freebie and a $9.15 moneymaker. I just want to explain that because I know I just said a lot. And to new coupons, it can be confusing. But just remember, I was supposed to pay $17.14. But I paid $14.85. I got back $13 from the manager. I got back $8 for the Revlon. And I got back $3 from Ibotta for the Cetaphil. So it makes all of it free and a $19.15 money maker. I just want to just go over that again because I don't want to confuse anybody with this small haul. Moving right along to my third and final transaction. So I picked up two of the Jergens 10 ounce lotions. Not a reward back, but those were priced at $5.29 at my store. Those are the 10 ounce. So two totaled me $10.58. I used that $4 off Jergens coupon from our two six smart source. I also had a five off two uh, Jergens uh, CRT. So I paid $158 and making a final cost only 79 cents each, which is not a bad deal for less than a dollar for some lotion. Next, I did any aquifer or userant is spend 20, get a $10 ECB. So I'm trying to pick up more aquifer because I have a lot of userin. So um I picked the one aquifer healing ointment. Uh, the 1.75 ounce was $6.99. Then I picked the one aquifer healing spray was $12.79. Both totaled me $19.78. I'm still within my 98% rule, if your store follows that rule, to get my $10 extra care buck back because it's spend 20, get 10. So my total was $19.78. I used two of those, $3 off. Aquaphor coupons that came in our 130 save. I also had a 2 off 12 Aquaphor or Eucerin hand and body lotion CRT or spray. And I also had a 2 off 6 Eucerin or Aquaphor CRT. So I paid $9.78. I got back to 10 making both completely free and a $0.22 cents moneymaker. Last but not least, I did the Colgate. I prefer to get more mouthwash, more toothbrushes than mouthwash because of storage i try to get a lot of toothbrushes because i do have mouthwash but i try to get toothbrushes because it's more convenient for me so select colgate optic white the total or the max two and one toothpaste are 3.99 and by two get a four dollar ecb the limit is two so i picked up two of those and i combined it with the select colgate manual toothbrushes or the mouthwash is 4.49 and by two get five so i grabbed four of the toothbrushes so four toothbrushes and two of the toothpaste totaled me $25.94. I used that three of two Colgate digital coupon that glitched with a dollar off for the Colgate toothpaste uh, from our one from our two uh 20 smart source today. You also can get those from the 123 smart source and uh, those expired on 212 and scan with no issues. I also use four dollar off. Colgate toothbrush coupons. I use a mixture of the ones from the 123 Smart Source and the 220 Smart Source. I also had a 5 off 20 Colgate CRT, so I paid $12.94, but I got back four for buying two of the toothpaste. I got back 10 for buying four toothbrushes, so it made all six products completely free in a dollar and six cents moneymaker. So, yeah, guys, that's all what I got for my third transaction. So I paid $24.30 out of pocket, but I got back $26. I got back $10 for buying an uh, Aquaphor, and I got back a total of $14 for buying the um, Colgate products. So it makes my third transaction a freebie and a $1.70 moneymaker, which is amazing. Every single transaction today, even though my haul is small, was a moneymaker. So I saved between the three transactions, 145.40 
And between all three transactions, my small haul became a freebie and a $15.87 moneymaker. Reason being, my third transaction was a freebie and a dollar and 70 cents moneymaker. My second transaction was a freebie and a nine dollar and 15 cents moneymaker. And my first transaction was a freebie and a five dollar and two cents moneymaker. So really, really amazing haul. Not a ton going on in my opinion, but I made it work with what I had. And I also had some extra care bucks that were expiring. So I had to go out to CVS. Otherwise, guys, I probably would have missed this week, but I only went because I had some extra care bucks that were expiring. So with all of that being said, let me show you guys all three receipts and then my $13 in extra care bucks that the manager did issue me. And then that is it for my CVS haul for this week. Okay, here's my first transaction receipt with the L'Oreal Elvive, the Glaring Few Teeth, and then my free uh paparazzi. Here are all of my coupons. They have $4 off for the L'Oreal Elvive, the five off L'Oreal, uh, not L'Oreal, Few Teeth, and both digital glitch, the Glaring Hair Care glitch, and the L'Oreal L5 glitch. My free uh, CRT and then my 4R14. I rolled in a $2 extra care buck. Got lowered down to 198 because my total was 198 Had five items and paid zero plus tax out of pocket. And I did use that money card from last week when I had the issue with Maybelline again from last week. So I used that and I saved $28.95 with 100% savings. And then I got back the... Um, Five for the few teas, and then two for the L'Oreal L vibe, and then some more CRTs that printed on my receipt. Second transaction, you can see right there, only one Maybelline product is scanned. My Revlon Candid Foundations, my two Cetaphil uh, cloths, and you can see all of my coupons came off both um, five off two Cetaphil, and you can see the Revlon came off. You can see the Maybelline, the C, the one CRT came off, but the 5 off 20 did not come off. My 4 off uh, Revlon CRT that we all got today, like I said, I was supposed to pay $17.14, but I paid $14.85. And you can see that $5 off extra care buck got lower down to $2.85 because I did roll in $17. So I paid $14.85. I had five items. I saved $52.85 with 100% savings. Here you go right here. It still says I need one Maybelline product because it only scanned once when she thought it scanned twice. So I only got the $8 for uh, buying two of the Revlon products for spending 12 two times. And I got this on my receipt. Here's the third and final transaction with the Colgate toothpaste. All of my two brushes. There is the Aquaphor in the Jergens. You can see that three off two digital uh, glitch with the dollar coupon. I use... Um, five dollar coupons one was for the toothpaste and the other four was for the toothbrushes my five off 25 colgate my five off two jergens two off 12 use for aqua four and my two off six all of my coupons i scanned i paid um 24 30 out of pocket i had 10 items and i saved 63 60 with 100 percent savings but i got back i got back four for buying two of the toothpastes I got back 10 for buying four toothbrushes. I got back 10 for the um, Aquaphor products and then more CRTs that printed on my receipt. And here is the lovely $13 extra care bucks that the manager did issue me for my issue with my second transaction. So yeah, guys, all in all, my small haul became a huge little moneymaker, which I'm pleased with that. There's not a lot going on at CVS again. So if you guys don't need any of these items you don't you could really skip cbs this week i only went out because i did have extra care bucks that were expiring so yeah guys that is it thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys found this video helpful to share with you guys what you can pick up at cbs on this slow slow week like i said not a ton going on but i had some expired ecbs and i went to pick up these products and it came out to be a money maker haul i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to my channel guys thank you guys so so much for subscribing to my channel and thank you to all my subscribers as well coming back each and every week watching my videos sharing my videos liking my videos and doing all of that good jazz you guys know i appreciate you all so much i can't thank you all enough and i'll see you guys in my next one